Welcome to the video guys, today I'm going to be giving you a straightforward tutorial on how to successfully and safely access the dark web on Windows 10. Okay, so the very first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and click on the link in the description and it's going to take you to this website here. And what you want to do is go ahead and click on download Tor browser and then you want to go ahead and select your desired platform. Now just bear in mind that this method I'm showing you now will work on pretty much any platform as the method is pretty similar for all of them. So if you don't know what Tor is already, it's basically a browser that's got built in security features that allows you to access the dark web safely and securely. Now it does this by accessing dot onion websites, which normal browsers like Google Chrome can't access. So it's very important that you use this browser. Okay, so once we've downloaded the installer for Tor, we do not want to install it just yet because what we want to do is go ahead and get ourselves a premium VPN. Now, if you don't know what a premium VPN is, it's basically a virtual private network and it's basically going to alter your location and your identity online and it's going to encrypt it. So when you access the dark web, you're going to be purely anonymous with this Tor browser and the VPN. Now, the premium VPN I like to use is called Private Instant Access and the reason being is because they don't store any traffic logs. This basically means that when you're accessing the Tor browser, all your traffic is not going to be stored, which means your data cannot be sold to third party advertisers, unlike what a lot of VPNs do. Now you can also use private internet access on many devices, so if you are on a mobile phone, you can also download it and you can get it in the link in the description. So what we want to do now is go ahead and connect to a VPN server that's the fastest for us. So we're going to go ahead and connect to a UK one since I am UK based and we're going to go ahead and click on the power button and that's going to go ahead and encrypt our identity online so we can then go ahead and browse the Tor browser anonymously. So as you can see I've now got a different VPN address which is basically linked to an encrypted server and not my real address. So now connected to our VPN, we can go ahead and install our Tor browser. So it's going to go through the setup process just like you normally would with any other sort of program. So all you want to do is just go ahead and run through that. So now the setup is all completed, we can go ahead and click on finish. And if you do want to be extra anonymous, you can go ahead and store a Tor browser to a external USB drive, which a lot of people do. But in this case, I'm just going to install it to my Windows computer. Okay, so now we've got the Tor browser installed, you want to go ahead and click on connect. You don't need to worry about configuring anything because the Tor browser is going to go ahead and do that for you and it's quite good at it. So our Tor browser is now fully online as you can see and it's going to load up in a windowed mode. And I just want to say that it's extremely important you do not put this in a full screen mode if you're going to be doing anything shady during the dark web. This is because hackers have a high potential of tracking you down using your monitor's screen resolution. I know it sounds really daft, but it's true, so make sure you keep it in a Windows mode. Now, if you want to be the safest you can be while accessing the dark web, which I assume you want to be, you want to go ahead and click on the shield at the top here and go ahead and click on Advanced Security Settings. Then you want to go ahead and click on the Safest option, and here it's going to go ahead and disable JavaScript and all of the other good stuff. So things are going to be less visually pleasing, and websites are going to load a bit slower, but you're going to be much, much safer while browsing the dark web. So of course, when you finish accessing the dark web, all you want to do is go ahead and close the Tor browser first, and then you want to go ahead and successfully disconnect from your VPN afterwards, just to make sure that you're not leaving any trails of identity behind. And that is all you need to do to access the dark web safely and securely on Windows, and pretty much any other platform there is. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like, and pass on to someone who may find it helpful as well. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. So thank you so much for watching, and have a good day.